Welcome back to the channel and I'm about to teach you how to add the journey map to Minecraft 1.19.3 the easiest way I know so let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys so step number one will be to click the second link in the description which will bring you to of course a written guide on how to download and install the journey map for Minecraft now. This is a written guide for those of you that prefer to read. I personally like the video a little bit more but if you prefer to read and look at the screenshots this is for you. So feel free to scroll through the guide and learn here but the main thing once you're here in the website is to click the journey map button right here. So scroll down find the button that says journey map go ahead and click on it and that is going to redirect you to curseforce.com. Give it a second and once curseforce has opened go ahead and scroll down until you find the desired version of journey map that we're downloading as well as the desired instance. What I mean by that is that you need Forge or Fabric to run a mod, obviously. And I'm assuming you already have Forge. If not, I'm going to show you how to install Forge. Again, you could use Fabric, but in this tutorial, we're going to use Forge. So once you're here, go ahead and find that desired version and instance. In this case, we're gonna do 1.19.3 for Forge. As you can see, it is the first one right here. So that is good. If you can't find it like that, just click on VO and you will be able to put filters and find whichever version you want. So once you're here, go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically. Just give it five seconds. Do not click anything. And as you can see, it's going to start right now. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save it. But for you, it's just going to download automatically. Once you have the file, it should show here on the bottom left if you're using Chrome. If you are using something like Opera GX, it should show on the top right. Anyways, whatever browser you're using, go ahead and find your file and drop it into the desktop. As you can see, we already have the journey map jar file. I'm assuming you don't have Forge, so I'm going to show you how to get Forge real quick. In order to install Forge, just click on the third link in the description and that'll bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install Forge. Same thing in here. If you want to look at the screenshots, feel free to do so. If you want to read through the guide, go ahead and do so. But the main thing here is to click this download Forge here button. That is going to redirect you to the Forge website. Where as you can see, it says download the installer right here, but that is not what we're going to do. We're going to find the right version first. So I'm going to go ahead and look here in the top left. And as you can see, it says 1.19.3. Go ahead and click on it. That is going to redirect you to the 1.19.3 version, which is the matching version for the journey map. Now, if you're watching this video in the future and you want to do something like 1.19.4 or maybe 1.20 or whatever version of Minecraft is out, go ahead and find the right matching versions for the future. But in this case, we're going to do 1.19.3. So go ahead and click on installer. And that is going to redirect you over here where you're not going to click anything. You're going to wait five seconds again. I know a lot of waiting five seconds. Don't worry, guys. This is the way it is. I don't make the rules. So once you're over here, go ahead and click on skip once the five seconds have passed. And that is going to start the download automatically. As you can see, it's asking me where I want to save this file. And for you, it's going to download automatically. Same process as before. Go ahead and drag and drop the Forge file into your desktop. Let's wait for that to finish downloading. There we go. Now we have Forge. And we have journey map. We are kind of ready to start, right? So the first thing is to actually install Forge 1.19.3. In order to do so, first you need to have Java 17 updated on your computer. Otherwise, you won't see these little files in here, these little icons, right? These little cups in there, or it won't let you launch Forge. And after you install Java 17, you need to run Minecraft 1.19.3 vanilla at least once on your computer. So I'm assuming that you have Java updated. If you don't have Java updated, do not worry. We do have a guide on that. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Just click on the third link. It's pretty much how to update Java. It's real, real quick. After you update Java, it should let you run Forge, no problem. If that doesn't work after you update Java, just run a jar fix. It's a little three-step thing. And I'm also going to leave the guide for that in the description so you guys shouldn't have any trouble. So anyways, I'm assuming you already updated Java and that you run the jar fix and you're able to install Forge or maybe you already had Java updated. If you don't know how to check your Java version, click where it says type here to search type add or remove programs and in here you could you could click on search this list i'm sorry and then you can type java and see what version of java you have as you can see i have 17 but if you have something like 8 or 7 you can update it on the description anyways once we have java updated go ahead and double click on forge 1.19.3 and that is going to start the installation for forge as you can see it's asking me if i want to install a client or a server obviously we're installing a client so just go ahead and click on ok and that is going to start the installation. And while Forge installs, guys, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking to create a Minecraft server, a Minecraft server where you could run mods, a Minecraft server that could be open 24 seven, Apex Hosting got you with a 25% off discount on the first link in the description. So if you want an online server that you could access through your phone, through your computer or anywhere you are, use the first link in the description for 25% off your first link with Apex Hosting. And let's continue with the tutorial. As you can see, 
Forge has already installed, the little sign came up, successful install client profile, go ahead and click on OK. And now we could even get rid of the Forge installer. So go ahead and delete that jar file and this little text file that appears on your desktop. Now we are obviously going to check if our installation works. So what you're going to do is open your Minecraft launcher. I have my Minecraft launcher down here. Let's go ahead and click on that. It opened on my second monitor. Let me drag it to over here and just give it a second. I don't know why, but Minecraft has been taking really long to load on the launcher. Maybe it is because they are under new management. Who knows? Anyways, once we're here, guys, as you can see, Forge 1.19.3 is selected automatically. That means that it installs successfully. If for any reason, when you come to the Minecraft launcher, you don't see Forge 1.19.3, just click on installations and make sure that you have modded selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see any modded version of Minecraft that includes Forge or Fabric. Remember, you could also use Fabric for this tutorial, but we're using Forge. So anyways, make sure modded is selected. That should do it. And if that doesn't do it, just click on new installation. Name this whatever you want. In this case, obviously, I'm going to name it Forge 1.19.3. Oops, made a little mistake. And then go ahead and click on version and select Forge 1.19.3. It should be right here. As you can see, release 1.19.3 for Forge is right there. And then click create here on the bottom right. Let me show you right here. On the bottom right, as you can see, it says create. Go ahead and click on create. And that should create a Forge 1.19.3 instance if it didn't show automatically, but for most of you, it's going to show automatically when you open the launcher. Anyways, once you have located or created your Forge instance, go ahead and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button when you click on installations on the top. Once that folder opens, just like this, you should see a lot of different files, guys. Don't get overwhelmed by all these files because I'm going to teach you exactly what to do. What you're going to do is look for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my mods folder is right here, right? But let's say that you don't see your mods folder as easy as I did. Let's say that your mods folder is not even there, right? You, you came to the Forge folder and the mods folder is not there. What do you do? Is, is this over? The tutorial doesn't work. You go into common, it's a fake. No, guys. What you do is you right click, you click on new, you click folder and you name it MODS. There you go. Problem solved. You have the mods folder now and what you're going to do is open that folder. If you had the mods folder when you went to the Forge folder, you don't have to create a new one. Just open that mods folder that you already had. And what you're going to do in here is drag and drop the journey map file or the .jar file that we downloaded earlier, the first file we downloaded. Go ahead and drop it in there. And now we have journey map inside the mods folder. What you're going to do next, close this folder right here, open your launcher back up, find the Forge installation that we dropped the file to, the journey map into the mods folder too. And what you're going to do is click on play. Now, obviously, it is the first time you're running modern Minecraft, so it's going to tell you this little warning in here. Just click that you understand and click play. Now, give it a second because Forge takes a little bit longer than regular Minecraft since it is modded Minecraft. Now, as you can see, once Minecraft Forge has opened, you know that you're in the right place if it says Forge in the bottom left and it says three or at least three mods loaded. Now, if we want to check if we have journey map here, just click on this mods icon right here. And as you can see, journey map is right there. But if you want to check a little bit better, just go ahead and click on single player, create a new world and just give it a second for the world to create. And we should see, let me go ahead and create this world. Uh, yeah, you could click yes, because the settings are experimental. That is because I have some resource packs that I was using for another tutorial. But for you, it's just going to say create a new world and it's going to create without any issues. And let's just wait for this to open so I could show you guys that journey map is working. Also, so that I could create my intro because yes, I do record my intros last because I have to make sure that the tutorial works first. So anyways, as you can see, we are inside Minecraft and we have the journey map on the top, right? As you can see right there, if we press J, it's going to open the journey map menu. We could click close right here and we could see everything because this is journey map, guys. So I hope this tutorial was useful. I hope you got journey map working. And if it did help you, leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.